Fireware includes powerful object storage functionality based on OpenStack Swift. You can access your object store using the Fireware portal. Go to Cloud, Login and jump to Containers. Here we can create a container. Let's call it example underscore container. Once the container is created, you can go inside, of course, upload an object. Let's call this one sample underscore object. We'll pick a local file, for example, the stat file, and upload it to our object store. Of course, once it's uploaded, we can download the file. This is Google Chrome, so we open up the download tab, select the file, open it, and hello everyone is the contact inside. This is standard OpenStack functionality, but Fewer also gives you access to the object store through an open standardized API. CDMI is a RESTful interface, so we can illustrate it using the advanced REST client in Google Chrome. This is the IP address of the CDMI interface to our object store. We're going to send a GET request, send us some headers and authentication information. When we send the request, we get a HTTP 200 OK response, and in the body of the response, we are told the capabilities of our particular object store. CDMI can be invoked by any technology that speaks HTTP. Here, for example, is the curl command to get capabilities. It's a HTTP get command. We point it to the same IP address, invoke it. We see our request, a HTTP 200 response, and in the body of the response, the details of the capabilities of our object store. We can also list the contents of a container. Here we're doing a get against the top level container in our object store. We invoke the command, we get a HTTP 200 OK response, and we can see that there is one child container called example underscore container. Let's create a new container. This time it's a put request. We call it example underscore curl. We'll invoke the command. Again, HTTP 201 created response, some metadata about the new folder. And if we run the list command again, we'll see there are now two children of the top level container. We can confirm this by browsing the portal. Let's now upload some content. In this case, we'll upload a JPEG called mylocalpicture.jpg. We'll do a HTTP put into the example underscore curl container. Send the file, a 201 created response. We can use the portal to confirm that the file now exists in the container. Or we can run a script. Here's the curl command to do a HTTP get on a file called my stored picture in the example curl container. Invoke the command. The file is downloaded. We can browse the contents. So that's our brief introduction to fewer object storage. Power of OpenStack Swift available through an open standardized API. Enjoy!